Hey. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to see your guys' comments or not. This is my first live and forgive me, but I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Okay, so today I'm gonna prep the nails. I don't even know, let me turn this down. I have some music playing in the background just because uh, there's like salon noise and conversations and all that good stuff going on. I'm gonna change my lighting a little bit. So I'm gonna prep. These are what I'm going to use. So like I was saying, I don't know if I'm gonna show the art yet or not, but I did want to, just because of time, but I did want to come on and show you how I prep the nails to do acrylic practice or to do an acrylic design. Um, today, if I do get to the design, I am going to be using these hearts and I think I'm going to be using the porcelain, the Glitter Bells porcelain. It's not going to focus. Uh, that's what I think I'm going to use. I usually fly by the seat of my pants when it comes to nail art, um, which is why sometimes it doesn't turn out. I'm sure you guys have seen that on here before, but, and I would like to use baby cake as well, uh, because I really love baby cake. Check it out, right? I mean, it's pretty, it's just pretty, it's subtle, and I don't know, I have this vision in my head of what it's gonna look like with these, so. I'm gonna give it a whirl, but I wanted to show you guys how I am putting these tips on the Liquid Chrome practice hand. So you can go to liquidchromenails.com or you can go to AR Nail Supply. We are both located in Canada. AR Nail Supply is on in Ontario. I am located in New Brunswick. You can also find me under this same name on Instagram if you wanna ask any questions about the practice hands, fire away. Um, again, under the same name, so it's Liquid Chrome Nails. add a little more light on this situation even though I've got two big ring lights on it looks a little dark if anybody ever gives you any advice about YouTube don't let anyone ever tell you that lighting isn't the hardest part <laughs> because it is it's by far the hardest part Ooh. That's fun. That wasn't really helpful, was it? Oh well. Okay, so I'm going to start by narrowing these in a little bit. So I've just put like a square general tip in here and I just want to bring in sometimes tips like this flare just a bit at the end, which is fine in any normal circumstance, but I do want to take that down because I don't want that to be a part of it. So, dust brush. As you can tell, I was super prepared. I'm just gonna narrow that in. I'm not even being like, I don't know. I'm not even being purposeful with it. I'm just narrowing it in. And these are not glued in, okay? These are setting in here just like that. That's how far they're in. So I generally put them in as far as I can and then push them this way and then kind of do this to make sure they're in there the whole way, that they're not just like stuck on the silicone. So I am holding kind of at the cuticle when I'm coming back and forth with it, but even when I don't hold, I can still file. It just wiggles around a little bit, which is fine, but when I hold, I just have a much better, much better grasp. So 
So I'm like literally just kind of shaping these a little tiny bit, not even a lot. And I am going to quickly buff the top. Of course, this client in particular is not concerned about her nails lasting. So therefore, I'm not being too terribly technical with the prep because really it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. I am wiping with alcohol. Perfect. I'm not doing the thumb. I tend not to do the thumb when I do a tutorial or what have you. I figure whatever I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show in four fingers and the thumb just seems to always be non-existent after that. All right, so you can see I've really just like half-assed it, which is fine. And I'm gonna raise you up just to get a little better view of what's happening. Okay. So I am using the Glitter Bells Extra Long. If you shop from the Nail Throne, you can use code Liquid Chrome for 10% off. Um, 10% is a really cool discount. So I'm going to use these ones and I am just going to kind of use regular glue. I don't have any of my Glitter Bells base glue left. So grab my glue and let's pick out some tips. You would think I would have this down to a science by now as far as size, but I do not. Oh wow, I overshot that, didn't I? So are you guys doing a lot of Valentine's nails? Like do your clients or if you are a client, as a client, are you asking for Valentine's now? I'm curious. I'm curious to know. I feel like my clients don't always... For me, I feel like it depends on um, like the time that the client falls in in the month. Like it seems like there's really only a week where people are like, yes, I want Valentine's nails. And otherwise I, I feel like they feel like they've missed the boat on it, if you know what I mean. Definitely want dainty like pink and gold, yeah. I've done a few, same, pink, um, maybe a little bit of sparkle, but like not um, full on what I call obnoxious sparkle, more like a shimmer. I've done a lot of shimmer kind of, I've done a lot of um, rose gold accent, lighter pinks, nothing too serious. Some years I've done like full on you know that black, white, hot pink kind of situation? I've done I've done that in the past. It's cold in here, so my glue doesn't want to dry. No pressure, no pressure. Are you dry? Yeah. So these are gonna be um hella long. Nobody's been going all out. Yeah. Well and Literally nobody can go out. So I think that has a lot to do with it as well because, you know, they can't go anywhere. Clients aren't going anywhere. Uh, restaurants are now open here as far as seating. Um, however, we're in a pretty small town. So like, I don't know where you're going. I really, really hope you can't hear my stomach growling right now. 
I have eaten today, I promise. Mm -hmm. So I'm showing, I'm showing that there's four people here right now, which is awesome because this is my first live and I really didn't even expect four people to show up. So that's cool. Where is everybody from? Where are you watching me from? And are you, if you're a nail tech, are you allowed to be working right now or are you home? It's another curious question for me, I guess. We were off uh, two weeks ago for a week. However, we're back now, but things are equally as weird now as they were before. So we'll see how long we're actually, you know, back for, if this is a lasting thing. You're in BC and you are able to work. Okay, good. The first time that we were off, I found it easier to keep up with like the Atlantic provinces or even Canada, just as to what was going on because of course I follow a lot of nail techs on social media but this time I I honestly found it stressful um, to kind of follow what everybody was allowed to be doing and not Saskatchewan and you are able to work okay that's good too I thought I heard that you guys had gone back that's awesome I mean if we're in, I don't know, some sort of, if we're in some sort of emergency situation, then great, but staying home when it's super cold, it's hard to, when we were off in March, it was a little warmer. Texas. Oh, so things are totally different for you than they are for us, probably. I mean, we have... <laughs> Some of us, some of us, some provinces have nothing compared to what you guys have stateside. Texas is somewhere that I've always wanted to visit. If I was planning ahead, I should have turned up the heat in here. It's cold and damp today. And I had my door open here at the salon and I find it cools down in here when I have my door open. It takes a little bit sometimes to warm back up. So any questions about the practice hands, go ahead and ask them. I am using the one off my website that has the holder included. And you can see that on the website. There's one hand that you can buy that's actually out of stock on my website. Um, but you can buy it and you buy the holder separately. However, this hand in particular, same hand like this way, same <laughs> bulk of hand. However, the holder, ooh, the numbers are picking up, sorry, geez, that's awful. So the holder is actually part of the hand for this one. It is suctioned similar to the other one. Actually exactly the same as the other one. So any questions, feel free. I should move my phone a little bit here. I'm like barely catching your guys' comments. There we go. Yep. Yeah newbie here. I always feel kind of old when I try something new. <clears throat> so the regular hands, if you're looking for a regular hand not with the holder included like this, AR Nail Supply has them on the website and she's fully stocked. So she has left and right. She also has fingers and half hands. And the half hands are exclusive to her store. I don't even carry the half hands on my website. That is exclusive to her in Ontario. But fingers and full hands are on the site on my site. 
along with a little bit of nail art, a little bit of glow-in-the-dark gems and some um, foil, some of the metallic foil, and some nail art brushes and drill bits. So if that stuff interests you, go check it out. Okay, looks like I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, I'm gonna play around off live with some designs and maybe I'll be back later. But if you showed up for my live today, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I hope you've subscribed to my channel. I assume that's why you're here. But if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did that. Thanks for coming.